Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing and it is about 10 after 11 on Thursday night. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend, so we are heading to camp. We're heading down to Hollapaw where we have our off-grid camper. Um, since it's a long weekend, we're going to be down there a few days. We are hopefully going to get our septic tank put in, which I am like so excited about. Um, composting toilets are great and everything, but I'm thinking I'm going to really like having a septic tank again. So that is going to be on the agenda this weekend, and I am cooking up a storm. Um, Chris has training tomorrow out of town. So we are closing the office tomorrow, so I'm going to get a bunch of my cooking done tonight. I'm going to do some office work tomorrow, and then we're going to hit the road late afternoon, hopefully by 4 is our goal. He'll be home from class. Um, his brother Donnie, who's going with us, that also works with us. His daughter um, graduates from middle school tomorrow, so he is going to that tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be able to have everything packed and loaded when he makes it home from class tomorrow, and we can just hit the road. So that is the game plan, and I will flip the camera around and show you guys what I am prepping, and I'm just kind of take you along over tonight and maybe tomorrow morning, whatever I don't get finished cooking tonight, I'll get up and do tomorrow, and then load up wood. I've already got all the wood split. I did that a couple weeks ago, so I can just get that loaded, all of our bags loaded, our bedding, our coolers, and everything, so that when Chris gets in, we can just hit the road. But for now, I'm cooking. So let's see what I'm making. Okay guys, this is what I have set up. You know, if you've been watching my videos at all, I am an absolute list maker. I like lists. <laughs> they make me just feel better and I'm very organized with lists. So I have um, shareable dishes. These are all things that I'm gonna be making to share with everyone in our group. You know what, let me turn the flash on here. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. So of course I'm making sausage gravy and biscuits. I always do that when we have a big um, a big gathering. And I'm gonna make up a comp pie for the group. And then um, we have some friends that are doing some extra things for us, helping us with the septic tank. So they are gonna get some extra treats, which is gonna be an extra pecan pie. And I have M&M brownies, I'm sorry, brownies and M&M cookies. Then I'm taking all the ingredients to make peach cobbler when we're there. And I'm gonna make these peanut butter no-bake squares. Never made them before, they just look really good. I saw them on Trisha Yearwood's Southern Kitchen, I think is what it's called. So um, I thought, you know what, those look really good. There's a jalapeno dip um, I saw that looks really good. Let me take a look over here. Um, and then I'm gonna make um, sopapilla and m m cookies for the group, the Lara Vital or Vitali, I'm not sure how you say her name, her cookies. I've heard really good things about those. So I'm gonna make those. Um, for our meals, we're gonna be having bacon, eggs, and toast one morning, pancake, eggs, and I think sausage. I think I'm gonna take sausage for the day I do pancakes. And then of course, sausage, gravy, and biscuits, eggs, and fruit um, go along with all the meals of anybody that wants them. And then I made a meatloaf last week so that the guys could have meatloaf sandwiches when we're there. And I'm, I'm taking some peanut butter and jelly. And then I'm also supposed to be picking up, we did one of those uh, fundraiser Boston butts. And if it is in in time tomorrow, I'm going to go pick that up and we'll slice it up and have Boston butt sandwiches. And then for dinner... We're going to do steaks with baked potato and salad one night, and then I'm going to do grilled chicken with sausage, dressing, and a veggie the other night, and then we're going to have lots of snacks um, in between. So these are all my groceries, and when I shop my pantry, these are everything I need to shop my pantry and freezer for, and I'll get these loaded up. These are all the items I need to remember to take with me. And then these are all of my lists and recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my sausage, get it defrosted, and I think start on the biscuits, the cookies. Oh, and I'm doing a pistachio cake. The pistachio cake, and I'm just going to see what I can get done tonight. So since I'm not having to be up super, super early in the morning to open the office, um, I can cook late tonight. 
and then I'll work in the office for a few hours tomorrow and get all the loading done. So I'm just gonna start cooking. Okay guys, I'm doing a quick check-in. Um, it's a couple minutes after midnight. Yes, my kitchen is a disaster. Um, I'm working on pecan pies right now. I have the crust um, par cooking in the oven. I just finished melting the butter to go in here and I'm making two, maybe three. It just depends on how it ends up working out. I already have the sausage gravy made. I have the biscuits out of the oven. Um, I'm getting ready to move these over to the table, let them start cooling. This is cooling off and I have two pans of brownies in the oven right now. So I'm cooking along. All right, guys, it is a few minutes after two. Um, Chris went to bed, I don't know, an hour ago, maybe a little more. Um, I just finished making the jalapeno popper dip. I decided not to film it because I did not follow the directions on the original recipe exactly, but this is before it's cooked. I'm not gonna cook it until I'm down there um, because it has a topping that goes on it and I don't want the topping to get all soggy. So I'm just gonna wrap these up really well. I'll bake them when I'm there with the topping on them and serve them hot, which I think they would be better that way anyway. Uh, my two pies are out. I have a sopapilla baking away right now. My M&M cookies are done. You can tell which cookies I left in the oven too long. These are um, kind of like uh, snickerdoodles, I guess you would call. So I had two batches of those. I know there were more oatmeal raisin cookies in here. I think Chris must have come by and swiped some because there was definitely more. There was a whole batch of them. So there's a batch of chocolate chip, was a batch of oatmeal raisin, two pans of brownies. One is like a turtle with a caramel in it. One is a double chocolate. I have my biscuits and my sausage gravy. Um, it should be just about cool where I can put the lid on it and put it in the fridge and the cookies are pretty much cool where I can bag them up. Um, my peanut butter recipe, oh, my kitchen, I know it is an absolute disaster. Um, I'm getting ready to work on the peanut butter recipe. I still have the peanut butter and stuff out, but um, looking down my list, let's see, I've done my sausage gravy, my pecan pie, the peach cobbler, I'll do there. The no-bake peanut butter squares I'm working on. I've done the jalapeno dip. I've done the M&M cookies, the brownies, and the extra pecan pie. So pretty much most everything is baked. I'm getting ready to finish up doing the no-bake chocolate peanut butter squares. I'm gonna um, make all of my condiment containers, which I'll show you guys, and then I'm gonna clean up um, and then just bag everything and put it in the fridge to finish up tomorrow because it's just easier to do that as I load the cooler. Um, I'll slip things in baggies and um, lettuce and tomatoes and all that. I'll put those in their own little bags as I'm loading the cooler, but I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup, finish up my peanut butter dessert and condiments, and then I'm getting close to there. I should be to bed in an hour. Okay guys, it is almost 3.15. Um, I almost have all my dishes and stuff caught up, but I have all the food packed up, um, all the cold stuff I'm getting ready to go put in the outside fridge, so it'll be easy for me to put everything in the cooler, but I have um, other stuff over on the table ready to go, like apples and crackers, bananas, things that don't need to be cold. Um, I'll end up doing some mushrooms with our steaks and strawberries with breakfast. I have salad fixings, um, cheese for the salad, and then cheese for the dip. All of these are condiments, and then there are some dips in there. I made some French onion dip. These are the top two. Um, everything else is condiments, syrup, ketchup, mayo, mustard, that kind of thing. I put some spicy mustard in there for the guys if they want some with their sausages. I'm really hoping I have more eggs in the morning. Um, I, I think I had a possum that has been getting in before I get out there at night because so I'm really bad about going out at like midnight, 1 a.m. and closing up the chickens um, because I'm a bit of a night owl and I'm always working till late. And I have been seeing, I saw a baby possum the other night and then I've seen that some of the eggs have been busted and eaten and gone. So I'm trying to get out there at dusk and close them up earlier. So I'm hoping tomorrow before I pack everything, I'll have at least five or six more eggs to add to this, if not 
I have to go buy eggs and I don't really want to do that. So there's my sopapilla, my um, sausage gravy. These two are brownies. These two are my jalapeno popper dip, turtle brownies, regular brownies, two pecan pies. Uh, this is just some homemade pancake mix um, so that I can make pancakes when we're there which reminds me I need to go get a griddle. I'm taking one of my old griddles down there and I'm gonna buy myself a new griddle for here. Um, and then I have chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, snickerdoodle, M&M, biscuits. I think that's it. I think that's everything here on the table right now. So now I just have to wash up a couple more dishes. Um, my counters are almost clean but I'm just gonna wipe everything down and give it a sweep. I'll mop tomorrow. Cleaned out the fridge of veggie scraps. Those are carrot tops, eggshells, all that's gonna go to the compost bin tomorrow and the chickens can paw through it. So I think that's about where I'm at until tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna finish up the dishes, wipe everything down and sweep up. Hey guys, it is Friday around 12, I think. Oh, sorry out of breath I've been lugging coolers up and down <laughs> and scrubbing them out I have all of our stuff that we're taking to camp like bedding clothes water gas all of that stuff is packed I have it all packed in the general already um, I'm trying to decide on firewood I haven't packed that yet it's so hot this weekend I just don't think I'm gonna take any extra but I have all three coolers bleached out cleaned out ready to go on the bed of the trailer and I have my list right here. And as I take items out of the freezer and the fridge, have my freezer and fridge here on the back porch, um, I highlight them off as I put them in the cooler to make sure I do not forget anything. So um, I put stuff in frozen. I've got some ice in the freezers so I can go ahead and ice it down. And then once I get everything in, I have to go to the twice as ice place and pick up a few bags of ice and unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to go get some eggs. <laughs> um, those darn possums, man, they just got in there and they have been stealing eggs. So I am really low on eggs. And after all my baking, I think I only have like 13 eggs to take to camp. So I think I'm going to go pick up a dozen store-bought eggs as much as that pains me. So I'm going to go ahead and start checking stuff off the list and get it packed. Okay, guys, everything is packed. All of my food fit in one cooler. I have one cooler with just a few drinks in it for now to go ahead and start cooling down. And then one cooler that's completely empty, I'm going to fill up with ice. And now I'm going to go get together my last minute items, um, do a quick run through on the house to clean it up, make beds, gather up any dirty laundry, um, empty the dishwasher, that kind of thing. And then go get ice, get a shower, <laughs> and hit the road. All right guys, we are all loaded up and heading to camp. 